In this video, I'm going to be showing you what you'll learn in the blog post below, and that is sending an SMS text through Podio to a seller and then receiving their replies and then replying back to them, all within your Podio interface. So I've created this SMS app and we're going to add a message. Adding a message sends out the first SMS. We'll add the number. This is my Google Voice number, as you see over here. I'm going to write a message. Hey, do you mind if I ask you some questions about your house? So now we save. And then in a moment, we'll see that it pops up over here in my Google Voice. Hey, do you mind if I ask you some questions about your house? Now me act as the seller says sure no problem what would you like to know and then we'll the seller will send this off but at this point Twilio is receiving the text message and Zapier which runs on a 15 minute increments will check Twilio to see if any new messages has applied or see if any new messages have come in and if they have, the Zapier process will then update the log right here. Now, this could take 15 minutes, it could take 10 minutes, it could take two minutes, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna pause the video here and then I'll restart it up when the message comes back in. Okay, so we've got the uh, seller response here. You can see that the seller responded, sure, no problem, what would you like to know? And additionally, we see that the last message is showing up here. Now, this last message is there so we can see this in the grid view. So we go to the table view. Now, I like to have this set up. I don't know why it changed back. We can filter or do options. We want to get rid of uh, message, action and message log so now we can just see the phone number and also the seller or the last message that was sent in this case the seller sent us this message so let's go back in here and respond to it and we do that by clicking in the message field typing out a new message so I'd like to know if the house has a pool. Now we'll send. So we see this update. This last message will update to you being the last message sent. Does your house have a pool? And the message log also down here, does your house have a pool? And it also timestamps the message sent. Now we can see over here, the house has a pool, question off to the seller, and no, it does not. But it used to have an above ground pool that we took out. Now again, this could take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes for our processes in Zapier to retrieve the Twilio, the message that Twilio is receiving from the seller. Now this only is really an issue when you're testing this out yourself because it takes some time, but normally 15 minute lag from response to seller is pretty good. All right. So I'm gonna stop this and we'll wait for the message to come back and then I'll resume. If the seller's message came back, it took about 12 minutes from what I can tell. And uh, so that's how basically you can go back and forth and how this tutorial that you're going to go through will show you how to set all this up. And then you can add it to your Podio setup. It's pretty cool. Works really well. It only requires Zapier and Twilio. Both will require a paid account because you need to do f more than three steps in the Zapier Zap 
and Twilio, you have to just pay for the SMS messages per each one. And it's like less than a cent per message, so it's really no big deal. I probably spent less than four cents showing you this demo. So, uh, well, let me know if you have any questions as you go through the demonstration of the tutorial below. And uh, hope you enjoy. Thank you.